Welcome to the first installment of Uncle Sam's How To. As it turns out, if you let things accumulate rather than throwing them away, you really begin to realize the sheer amount of crap we as humans consume and use, and then in many cases end up sending off to the landfill. Well, the reason I'm making this series of videos is because not only do I not like throwing things in the garbage, but also I think it's wise to extract the maximum amount of value from the things around us. Today we will learn how to make rope from ordinary grocery bags. Your first step is to learn how to prepare the bags for rope making. Each bag needs to have two tears put in it before it can be used. Look underneath the handle on one of the sides, you'll see a seam. Pull the bag apart on this seam and tear it all the way to the bottom. You're going to have to do this on each side. Once you've done both sides, bring the handles together. Your bag is now ready to become part of a rope. Before we move on to the next step, please prepare nine bags in the same fashion. It's best if these bags are all of the same type. In step two, we learn another basic technique, which is connecting the bags together. Note that we connect the bottom of one bag to the top or the handle of another bag. Okay, to start with, put one bag underneath the other, then pulling the bag through itself, loop it around the other bag, and pull it tight. You might need to replay this section of the video a couple times so you can see what I'm doing. Well, there's our first knot. Now, do this once more so that we have three bags connected together. It's about time to start braiding our rope. We're going to need three strands of connected bags, each of them three bags long. First, line them up on the floor, then stagger them. This staggering is important because it will prevent the knots from causing problems in the braiding process which would compromise the strength and aesthetics of our rope. Now bring the three strands together, maintaining their staggeredness, and now create a knot right about here. This knot will secure the three individual strands together and form the beginning end of our rope. Now it's time to start the braiding process. Take the three strands that we just knotted together and put one of the loops of the short end around your foot. Separate the strands and start weaving. When you get to a knot, just braid it right into the rope the best you can. Your weave should look something like this. As we continue to braid, the loose strands will get shorter and shorter. As you can see here, the smallest strand needs to have another bag added to it. So that's exactly what we'll do. Add a bag, preferably one just like the previous bags that you've been adding. Use the exact same technique that we used to make the first three individual strands. Remember that you want to connect the top of one bag to the bottom of the next. So now that you know all the basics, it's time to get braiding. Braid, add bags, braid, add more bags, and repeat. Note that you can use bags of different sizes to help you keep the knots from getting close together in the braid. Okay, some tips and notes. First off, if you don't know how to braid, you best figure it out. We want a nice tight braid, done fast and without blisters. Some crude measurements of this particular bag show that the length of the braided bag is approximately 75% of that of its unbraided counterpart. Further, these measurements tell us that three bags equate to about 14 inches of total rope. 
Although no fancy scientific testing has been done on this rope, you can see that two strands of it support my weight quite easily. Well, our rope is done. Good job. I keep my rope in the closet and add to it a couple times a month as the bags pile up. Now go ahead and get started. You'll be surprised at how fast the rope will grow. And stay tuned for more videos in this series where we'll learn how to make even more useful items out of this rope.